Brandon Hinkle. Brandon, what's going on, man? You got a big deal coming up here? What's going on? Not, it's looking like maybe uh, I'm going to be going to the Great White North uh, up fighting to Canada. Um, big John Star new organization, so uh, we're trying to hatch out the details right now, but I'm maybe look, uh, tentatively fighting Tim Hay, who just fought in this last UFC. Big uh, big heavyweight, about 6'4", 265. So, uh, it'll be on Canadian TV, so I'm um, looking... Just got through a nice little training camp with a hammer, and I'm looking just to keep it going right now and be in great shape for April, ready to go. All right, you're going to be heavyweight. What are you, uh, what are you walking around at right now? Walking around about 240, 2, 245 right now, but uh, I don't want to be any – I fight best about 235, so that's, that's probably what I'll end up being fighting at. Okay, you got a really strong uh, wrestling background. I see the uh... – the, the, the West Live. West shout, Live, man. That's, that's your West school, Lib. right? Yeah, yes, yes, sir. Shout out to Coach Davis and all the boys out there. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I've been, you know, I've wrestled since I was five years old. Obviously, wrestling my base, my first love. Uh, but I've been doing, you know, I've been doing a lot of the boxing lately and uh, just trying to just trying to gain a new skill set to, to go with my wrestling where if I decide to keep it on my feet, then I will be able to keep it on my feet. What do you think of some of these guys that are they're, they're bringing in, like the Phil Davises and guys like that who are just super athletes and they have a very strong wrestling well, background? Well, I just saw Phil. I was just at the UFC in Coleman's Corner, uh, and I saw Phil Davis, and, and to me the kid's a freak. And, uh, you know, you, you, you don't, you don't want to – you don't want to conje conjecture on how he's going to do, but I think the sky's the limit for the kid. I mean, he looked, he, you know, just, I don't know if the people saw the fight. He hit, a, he hit an arm bar at the end. Don't even look like he, don't even, anyone even taught him it. He's so, he's so natural. So at 205 for him, uh, the sky's the limit. The kid's 20, maybe 22, 23 years old. If he gets with the right ca camp and keeps his nose clean, I think the, I see big things for that kid. All right, Coach, or Coleman, uh, do you see Mark, is he going to retire or is he going to come back for another one? I, to me, to me, I think he's got some bullets left in him. You know, I mean, that's not going to be my decision. But uh, you know, you know, he doesn't want to go out on a loss, and he had a great training camp. Didn't really put his game plan in action against Coach Chur, but you know, but but fall Coach Chur gave the fans a, a good uh, a good showing. And, and and who has beat Coach Chur at 205 in a, in a while? It's, 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 it's no reason just to retire because Coach Chur beat you at 205. I'd like to see him. Maybe get back over to Japan, but uh, you know, I talked to Mark, and he's in good spirits, and he's going to take some time and make, uh, make his decision. With the Canadian thing, do you see it being a one-time thing, or are you going to try and, and is it going to be multi-fight? What do you think? I don't know. We'll, we'll see, but uh, hopefully with the win, we'll, I'll get in there and solidify myself in that organization and be the champ, and uh, they can come fight me then. All right, you got anything else for me? None. All right, hey, thanks for Keep having wrestling. me. Keep wrestling. Keep <laughs> wrestling. Hey, thanks for the time. Good luck, and... Uh, Hopefully we can we can find out where we can uh, watch that that Canadian fighter. Okay, right? I'll keep you posted. All right, thanks. Okay, man. thanks, man.